I think that's the best conference in the state. I mean, you've got Greenwich, you got Staples, New Canaan, who's 6-1 and one right now going into Wednesday. That's because a lack of funds and players forced the team to cease operations back in 2009. Any school that can draw talent from outside of the area where the school is located can dominate in any one class. Mm -hmm. So now it's been approved by the Board of Control. It has to be approved by the basketball committees, both boys and girls. That's going to take place in the meeting on May 22nd. So Coach went on a recruiting spree to bring in some of the best players in the area. And for the results, all you have to do is look at the standings. Yeah. I wish that was like a 6-15, 6-30 start. You know what? I'm going to say this. If Weaver wins that game, they should be the number one team in the yeah. state of Connecticut. If you look at their resume, it's strong all year. They beat New London, they beat South Windsor, they eliminated South Windsor in the CCC tournament. So if they win that game, they should be the one seed. But I know this was a result of people complaining and saying basically, you know, it's not fair. The playing field in basketball in Connecticut is not leveled. So this aims to correct that. But there's more to Desiree Armour than just basketball. There were times when it got sloppy, when they tried to slow it down, there were a few turnovers and Farmington was able to get back into the game. So it's gonna come down to ball control. I give the edge to Capital Prep. I think the, the bats will catch up as the weather gets warm, if that happens. We hope. <laughs> <laughs> if the, you know, it gets warm, they'll, they'll pick it up. But yeah, pitching is, is gonna carry you through. And the way you start is important because if you have a slow start like Amity, it is tough to get back on top because the schedule is not forgiving. Henry Chisholm, always with your A game. Thanks for coming in, we appreciate it.